this is Elgato's new webcam. It's 150 bucks and probably the best webcam I've seen at this price. Here, let me give you a taste because this is one of the biggest webcam glow ups you'll ever see. This is not, by the way, this is not the new Facecam Mark II that we're talking about today. This is the original Facecam from three years ago. And the webcam looks pretty good until you switch it with the Facecam Mark II. Yeah, this is a... This is a different webcam. So this is a very good webcam. Same price too, 150 bucks. Cool, video's over, I'll see you in the next one. Nah, don't leave yet. Still got a lot of stuff to show you. So just for fun, we're gonna shoot this ad read with four different webcams, and I wanna see if you can tell which one is the most expensive and which one is the least expensive. You'll have one minute. Show the cameras, put some numbers on the screen. Let's get started. I don't know which one to look at. It's kind of <laughs> driving me nuts. <laughs> this video sponsor, you guys know him well, it's sizzle.gg, and at the end of this sponsor segment, there's a $25 giveaway, so. Make sure you hang out for that. Sizzle.gg is a website that automatically generates highlights and clips from your YouTube streams, your Twitch streams, even your local gameplay videos. No editing software or editing skills required. It just watches your content, picks out the best parts of your gameplay, and then cuts them into clips and compilations for free. It even works with just chatting now using their universal AI technology. On Sizzle.gg, you just link your streaming account, auto-generate your highlights, and then you can make some small edits if you want, like creating custom compilations and even converting any video into vertical mode for TikTok and YouTube. The basic plan is completely free and then for just 99 cents for the first month, you can get a handful of cool extra perks like generating highlights out of any video with Universal AI. And as for that $25 giveaway, Sizzle.gg is gonna be PayPaling two of you that sign up for a free account on their website. It's free money. So go sign up, link is in the description down below. Start getting some compilations, some clips, and maybe even 25 bucks for battle passes or skins or whatever you need 25 bucks for. All right, have you guys made your guesses? Dustin. Revelio. How many of you guys got it right? Let me know in the comments down below. How many of you guys were surprised? I know I was surprised. We're gonna do a handful of side-by-side -side comparisons with other cameras this video against, you know, other webcams, against Elgato's own Facecam Pro, even against a big boy mirrorless camera, just to see like where this $150 camera stacks up. But first let's talk about what's new on this thing. Let's also talk about why it's so cheap even though it looks so good, because Elgato did have to remove some things to keep it at this price. So we'll talk about what those things are. First off, this is a 1080p 60 webcam, so no 4K, which I don't think is a huge trade-off. I think that's fine. 4K webcams never look as good as like real 4K cameras <laughs> until you start to get up in the you know multi-hundred dollar webcam. But one of the huge upgrades to this camera is that it can do 1080p 60 HDR or high dynamic range. And let me show you what this means. Here's the original Facecam Mark I on the left and the Facecam Mark II on the right. And there are three main differences that make the new one look so much better. The first thing you'll notice is dynamic range. On the Mark I, you can just see the bright spots on my face just get washed out, while on the new Mark II, my whole face shows all the detail, even in the brightest spots and the darkest spots. You also have more accurate colors. Like you can see right now that my skin is like skin colored, and that's always a plus. The last big image quality difference that I noticed between the two is how good the automatic settings are on the new one. That was something I struggled with on the original one a lot. When I set the original face cam to auto, the white balance would go nuts and I'd turn completely red. The new Mark II that you're looking at right now is completely set to auto. Like this, you plug it in and it looks like this. And I appreciate that. The image on the new face cam is also uncompressed, which just means that the webcam is sending more information to your computer so it looks better. Let's have a look at the new body design though. The first thing I noticed when I opened this was that they got rid of that dorky neck that the original one was sporting, which is great. Your webcam can be closer to your monitor, so a little bit lower. You're not getting those MySpace angles on your Twitch stream. Some of you remember the MySpace angles. She's got the angles. The new one's got this more compact look than the old one. So it's like if the Facecam Pro was the size of the Facecam. They even built the privacy shutter into the webcam this time, which is great because on the original one, I lost that thing in like, Five minutes. I think the first time I took it off, never saw that thing again. They also brought the PTZ feature from the Facecam Pro into this where you can digitally zoom into specific spots and then save it as a preset that then you can save to your Stream Deck button to jump to on stream. So lots of really cool new stuff on this webcam. Let's talk about what it's missing. We already talked about the lack of 4K and I think that was a good call. I would much rather have a good 1080p at a cheap price 
And that's what they did. There's also no microphone in this webcam. In fact, I don't think Elgato has ever put a microphone in one of their cameras. This is also a good call. No webcam has ever had good sounding audio. Take it out and lower the cost. But here's a big one. There is no autofocus on this webcam. Now the original face cam was the same way and you end up kind of killing two birds with one stone by doing this. First off, you get to remove autofocus motors from inside the webcam. So that's, I'm sure, going to lower the cost significantly. But also lots of times when lower cost webcams have autofocus, they end up doing a lot of what's called focus hunting or focus breathing. Where they do that like that wow thing. You know what I'm talking about? If you've had a cheap webcam before, you know what I'm talking about. You will never get that here. As long as you are between one feet and four feet to the webcam, you will be in focus with I'm sure the peak in focus being at around two feet from the webcam. I really like this webcam strategy. I like what Elgato did here. Just take out all the unnecessary stuff, focus on making a simple webcam and then put every dollar into doing that as well as you possibly can instead of putting in a dumb microphone that nobody's ever going to use. So let's see how it looks compared to some other cameras. All right, on the left, we have the Elgato Facecam Mark II. On the right, we have the Obsbot Tiny II, a webcam that I've really liked and I've done some videos on. It's also more than double the cost of the Elgato. And what you're getting for that price increase is a 4K image and a good, pretty good 4K image for a webcam. You're getting the whole motorized gimbal thing and the AI tracking and all those features, which is usually the reason people buy this kind of webcam. And then all the other bells and whistles like really good autofocus. So if you want to be more than four feet away, if you want this in the corner of your room, you're not really gonna be able to use the Elgato for that. So while there are advantages, by the way, it, this over here, I'm looking at the screen to see what you're seeing here. So while there are clear advantages to that camera, just the general color and clarity and dynamic range of this whole thing so the detail of the Elgato, I think my face just looks better on the Elgato. Maybe better isn't the right word, but more detailed is definitely the right word. I can see my eyes more clearly on the Elgato. I know some of you might want to avoid some details. I know my forehead wrinkle definitely looks a lot more pronounced on the Elgato. But I have to say, for a webcam that is half the cost, I am very impressed with the Elgato here. Let's go to the Facecam Pro. All right, on the left, we still have the brand new Facecam Mark II. On the right, we have the Elgato Facecam Pro, the $300 webcam from Elgato from a year-ish ago. The Elgato Facecam Pro is the only webcam I've ever seen that can pull off the look of a mirrorless camera. I mean, these are both good pictures, but the Elgato Facecam Pro obviously has got the 4K60, which is still the only webcam to do that. It's got great autofocus. It also now has tint control, which is something I've never seen in any other webcam either, which is why I was able to dial in the perfect color for this shot. You can see my face is a little bit richer on the Pro side. I don't have as much pink in there. You also have a little bit of a wider field of view and then with the 4K60 you can punch into exactly what you want. So all around both really good webcams here. It's just interesting to see the difference between a $150 webcam and a $300 webcam and see how far they've both come. But now that we're gonna put it up against an actual mirrorless camera, by the way, this is the Sony ZV-E10, which has been really popular for a while. You can buy it on Amazon right now for $800 and it's got the kit lens that's included in it, which even though it's not a particularly good lens, I think you can get it for a hundred bucks. You can already see the background is a little bit blurrier behind us. But the real obvious advantage here is you can throw on whatever lens you want with this guy. Like this is like a 15 or $1,600 14 mil lens. Let's throw this on here. You know what? It doesn't look that much better. <laughs> let's let's get the 20 mil. Let's go back to the 20 mil. And you can get some cool shots like this to get some extra background blur and some extra crispness on your face. But honestly, if we're just talking about good image quality on your face, the Elgato Facecam Mark II is even holding up really well against this. You know what? I'm just going to let you come to your conclusions. I'm not going to fill your heads with ideas anymore. Let me know down below. What do you think of the Elgato Facecam Mark II? And while you're down there filling out the comment, hit the subscribe button, like the video because it's free and it helps out a bunch and go ahead and check out our merch we've got the crowd favorite that idiot beanie over there as well as the notice me senpai t-shirt and hoodie i mean lots of good stuff go check it out at senpai.tv i'll leave a link down in the description below but i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it helpful and as always happy streaming